Hello guys! Recently in our Cookie Admin Panel Generator in Vue.js version we relaunched a module called Dashboard and Reports. So in this video I want to show you how to generate reports from Vue.js application and Laravel API, how we do that inside Quick Admin Panel and how it works in the code. So if you create a new Vue.js Admin Panel, for example Reports, everything is default and let's install the module called Dashboard and Reports. So modules. In fact, let's install contact management and from that contact management we will get reports. So contact will create two CRUDs for us, contacts and companies, and then we install dashboard and reports. That will allow us to create widget. So we can create multiple widgets on a dashboard and every widget has its own type. So we have dashboard widgets, new menu item, which is visible only if you install that module, and then you add dashboard widget. And there are five types. Three of them are actually reports, so charts. Then one is number block, just the number, and one is a small table of entries. So let's try to create all of them. For example, line chart from contacts. So how many new contacts were added per day? So count of contacts, group by day created at, and filter last 30 days, contacts. Widget title, and let's make a width of one third of a row. We save that. Then similar bar chart, add another widget, so bar chart from companies, for example, also day created at, 60 days, for example, companies, also one third. And then pie chart, for example, users, users count of day created at, so who was registered on which day without any filter, users also one-third. Then we have a widget for number block. So how many entries are currently of something? So total contacts, for example, count of 14 days created at. So how many users? Users within 14 days. And let's make it half of the row. And another half of the row will be latest entries. So latest entries of contacts, we choose the fields, so first name and last name, email and created at. Five latest entries without any filter, latest contacts. And let's make it half a row. And that's it, let's download that panel. I will install that locally. So do the composer install, npm install, migration and all of that. We will add some data and see our dashboard. So download the code and I will continue locally. Okay, I have installed that with npm run dev successfully. And here's our login form. If we log in as admin, admin, and password, this is our dashboard with five widgets as we created them without contacts or companies yet, but with one user, admin user. And let's add some contacts. So companies, add fake filler Chrome extension, add something then add another company and then add some comments. So three companies just fake and then contacts also fake filler with company this one and save and another one fake filler save and now let's go to the dashboard and we see the data now. Of course it's all in one day so December 2nd where I'm shooting that but it adds the count, so this is the line chart, this is the bar chart, and this is the pie chart. Then we have two users within 14 days. And this is the table, not perfect because those are fields from the database, so you should probably rename that. And I already see what we can customize. So this column is too large and this is too small. So we need to make the room for the table. So let's move that from call MD6 to call MD4 or even 3. Those are bootstrap classes and let's make this bigger. And let's dive into the code to see how it works. For the dashboard in the Vue.js version, we have resources, admin app, JS pages, dashboard view. And in this file, you have a for each loop of all the templates, all the charts. And depending on the type of charts, we show starts card, latest card, or one of the charts. So something chart. And it's all imported from here, so every widget type has its own component. And then we load those components, those charts, from Dashboard API. And if we go to Routes API PHP, there is a route get dashboard to Dashboard API controller index. And if we go into that method, 
We see all those widgets one by one. It uses chart service to get the data, but we don't need to care about that in this video. You can dive deeper if you want to, but one by one there is widget after widget. And to change that behavior of widget, let's just change call MD6 to call MD3 here and call MD9 here. And as a column class, they will be displayed in here div class chart column class. And let's refresh the page. We refresh. And this is exactly what we needed. So call MD3 is here and call MD9 is here. So this is a general overview of our module of dashboard and reports in Quick Admin Panel and generally how to structure the Vue.js component with API data and load the reports. If you want to dive deeper and get that code, purchase our quickadminpanel.com. Vue.js version is available only in yearly plan. So support us, support this channel, and potentially learn Vue.js better with Laravel API. See you guys in other videos.